Today's topic is electric force. Our goal is to understand Coulomb's law. So I'm going to give you a problem. I'm going to give you an x-axis. I'm going to put two charts on the x-axis. Q1 would be 5 Coulomb, Q2 would be 7 Coulomb. And Q3 would be 1 Coulomb. You want to have to place Q3 on this x-axis at a location that Q3 will experience no electric force. So let me draw what I just said. So let's draw the charge. I think this one will Q3 in the middle will experience zero net static electric force. However, you have to show, you have to prove by using the vectors. So let's draw the vectors. This one would be force on three due to Q1. This would be force on 3 due to Q1 on 3 due to Q1 on 3 due to Q2 this would be force on 3 due to Q2 this would be force on 3 due to Q2 as a net force because the green one is longer than the red one. This one has a net force zero because the green one and red one are equal in magnitude. This one has a net force because the red one is longer than the green one. Now, what if instead of Q1 positive, we make Q1 negative? Let's see what happens. Our hypothesis is this one this one would have zero net force acting on it is because the vector would be vector force would be equal in magnitude opposite in direction so net force would be zero but so this one is f the force on q3 due to q1 the force on q3 due to q1 the force on Q3 due to Q1 on Q3 due to Q2 the, the force on Q3 due to Q2 the force on Q3 due to Q2 so as you see this one has some net force because the green one is longer than the dark one this one has zero net force because the green one and dark one equal in magnitude opposite in direction. This one has some net force because the dark one is longer than the green one. So this one will experience zero net force.